Hello guys welcome back to our anime explainer. Guys please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Today is explanation of upcoming episode of Soul Land based on novel. So let's start. Happiness, anger, sadness, fear, love, hate, desire, each of the seven emotions had passed. If the sea god's heart wasn't damaged, he would already have completed the inheritance. But one last step still lay before him, the step he most wanted to take, to reawaken the divine power of the sea god trident. The eighth stage hovered in front of Tang San, and at the same time that dark sea god trident also floated up. The sea god trident still seemed filled with an abstruse presence, but that cavity it made Tang San's heart ache. Deep blue light, shot like lightning from the sea god trident brand on Tang San's forehead, intensely shining on the sea god trident, and unhesitatingly released mental power. There was no skill involved, Tang San only gazed gently at the sea god trident, and constantly released his sea god's light. Inwardly he sincerely called out. Come back, my partner. Even if I spend all my power, I still want you back. The sea god's light grew increasingly intense, already wrapping up that dark sea god trident in blue. As if influenced by the sea god's light, the deep sea demon whale king's brain also gradually turned blue and slowly, bit by bit, merged into the sea god trident. That whale pearl also merged with the bluing whale brain. Truly inlaid into that cavity, it slowly absorbed the sea god's divine light Tang San released. Time passed second by second. Tang San was already trembling, his face white as snow. The sea god trident brand on his forehead also grew fainter and fainter. But he still clenched his teeth and endured, refusing to stop producing sea god's light. He had a kind of feeling that if he stopped now, there might never be another chance to restore the sea god trident. The first to move was the eight spider lances that had already reached the god level, and that Tang San had spent so much effort to turn into the sea god eight wings. The wings soared up, and that golden pillar of light once again increased somewhat. The wave and cloud patterns glittered with faint blue light, and the entire sea god eight wings were dyed glorious golden blue. Tang San also immediately sensed the source of the change. On his back, the eight enormous wings each connected with eight of his ribs, just where the eight spider lances used to be connected. The golden blue wings spread out, and that enormous energy was absorbed from the sea through these wings. Along with the sea god's light growing stronger again, the sea god trident it illuminated also began to show minute changes. The pattern on the trident began to turn faintly golden, and the whale pearl also began to turn transparent. At least a third of the whale brain's energy had been absorbed into the sea god's trident. The second platform, the one bearing Tang San's sky blue bull python right arm bone, flew up above him at the same time. A resonant dragon cry soared at the sky, echoing. In that clear and powerful sound, the cyan dragon circled and climbed, leaving the range of the platform, and shooting into the sky, flying straight up. As that azure body swept past, it left behind large lumps of seawater, and it gradually turned from azure into a golden blue giant dragon. A dragon head appeared on his shoulder, elegant rather than ostentatious, and armor with neat dragon scale patterns spread down his entire right arm, ridges and corners distinct, even over his palm and fingers. It fit perfectly to the muscles on his arm, but without any feeling of hardness, and seemed like it wouldn't influence his movements. The right leg armor was covered with wave and cloud patterns like the sea god eight wings, and also protected every part of Tang San's skin. On the sides of his calves protruded three spikes like thorns, each one with a wing-like curve on the back. The third platform disappeared along with the sea god right leg armor being fitted. The fourth platform followed. The evil spirit orca king's shadow flashed and struck Tang San's left leg hard. Tang San instantly felt an ice-cold feeling from his left leg, completely at odds with the warm comfort from his blue silver emperor right leg bone. But this cold feeling also roused Tang San's mind. Left leg armor identical to the right leg appeared, the only difference being a faint hazy light in front, like a sharp blade. That was clearly related to the evil orca right leg bone's original orca evil spirit hatchet ability. After the fourth platyphrum's evil spirit orca left leg bone turned into armor and was equipped on Tang San, the next to appear wasn't the fifth platform, with the skull spirit bone as Tang San expected, but rather skipped straight to the seventh platform, the titan giant ape left arm bone to ascend. All four limbs were complete, plus the sea god eight wings on his back. The golden ocean around the platform boiled, seawater spinning around it and shooting at the sky, turning into a giant maelstrom, 
spinning violently around. Enormous sea god energy blew into Tang San's body, as if reconstructing him, remaking every part of him. The sixth platform flew out next, and the deep sea demon whale torso bone with its soul completely crushed sword up, falling from above. The originally purple spirit bone had already turned into golden blue armor while still in midair, and an extremely dazzling breastplate descended along with a hundred-leaved armored skirt. With a sonorous crack, a rich feeling filled every part of Tang San's body. The chest armor formed from the deep sea demon whale torso bone was extremely impressive. Solid chest armor, waist armor like fish scales, as well as the hundred-leaved battle skirt, at the same time the trident pattern on Tang San's headband and the brand on his forehead changed, the trident brand changing into another small-scaled rhombic gem representation, making this golden blue headband seem even more perfect. Flawlessly clear sea gods light shot from the headband, shining on the newly reformed sea god's heart on the trident. The sea god eight wings on Tang San's back suddenly extended, intense golden blue light rising around him. As this misty light grew more and more intense, it finally turned into a golden blue pillar of light that shot toward the sky. Surging energy merged with the brand in the deepest parts of Tang San's soul to become an unprecedentedly enormous energy. Tang San saw his soul clearly. His soul already existed in reality, having transformed into a golden blue rhombic gem now on the center of his forehead, fitting into the sea god headband. Tang San didn't know that the soul becoming substantial was the mark of becoming a god. From today on, his mental power had already evolved into divine sense, the divine sense of the sea god. Looking emotionally at the sea god trident in front of him, the golden blue light in Tang San's eyes gradually retreated. At this moment he fully understood the changes to his body after he obtained the vast sea cosmic barrier back then. The scorching heat that he would occasionally feel in his spirit bones in the past should have been the sea god's light imperceptibly influencing and transforming his spirit bones. It should be said that Tang San's sea god raiment even surpassed Qian Renshue's angelic raiment. The angelic raiment was admittedly a divine instrument left in the mortal world by the god of angels, and each spirit bone that constituted it was close to the hundred thousand year level. Tang San didn't seem to feel it. His gaze was now only on that destined partner. His right hand slowly rose. Right now there was nothing that could stop him from moving. The solid right hand, the right hand covered with sea god raiment, firmly gripped the sea god trident once again burning with golden blue light. The instant Tang San gripped the sea god trident, violent golden blue flame suddenly soared from his body. All the chaos in the sky seemed to freeze in this instant. The next moment, that dazzling golden blue sea god trident, the reborn sea god trident, was pointed straight up, directly at the vault of heaven. An ancient voice, filled with respect, boomed from all around, sea god ninth trial complete, sea god divinity perfectly assumed, the sea god reborn. All spirit ring cultivation raised 50,000 years. The spirit rings rising around Tang San were magnificent, shockingly so. Tang San had seen nine spirit rings with both black and red from Qian Renshua in the past, each spirit ring rendered with golden light. But what he saw now was a completely different scene. The first spirit ring that appeared was red, wrapped up in dazzling golden blue on the outside. The second was the same, and so on, not changing all the way until the ninth spirit ring, all red on the background, surrounded by golden blue light. Only that last rising spirit ring was different. The tenth spirit ring representing the power of a god, was completely bright golden blue. The last reward of the sea god trials was actually to raise all spirit rings cultivation, by 50,000 years, and the blue silver emperor spirit, that had its spirit rings re-added once, had spirit rings that were 50,000 years at the lowest. 50,000 plus 50,000, this led to even Tang San's first spirit ring turning red. Nine red and one golden blue, that was a truly terrifying divine power. First rate trial complete, accompany the sea god in completing the inheritance, superpositioned rewards released, rewarding ten ranks of spirit power, raising all spirit ring cultivation, by 20,000 years three god bestowed spirit rings. Shock, when this voice reached Xiao Wu's ears, she only felt shock. Not just because of her cultivation rising, but at the same time also shock at Tang San entirely covered in golden blue armor, eight wings spread behind him, displaying incomparable might. While both were first-rate trials, Xiao Wu's improvement was clearly a level higher than Ning Rongrong's first-rate seven trials. This wasn't just due to the examination being difficult, 
but at the same time also embodied the superpositioned rewards. And at the same time, Daimubai and the others also heard a voice, assisting the sea god's inheritance, rewarding one god bestowed spirit ring. In fact, the benefits the Shrek six devils gained wasn't just this. Just as Tang San raised the sea god trident and completed, the sea god inheritance with surging golden blue light shooting at the sky, the golden door of light, they had been guarding also turned golden blue. Six lines of golden blue light shot spread out, pouring into each of them. Tang San was a bit worried when it first appeared, but his concern was soon completely obliterated. I encountered a little trouble almost being burst by the power of the 100,000-year-old soul ring fortunately. Tang San gave Oscar a drop of blood in time, only the Oscar successfully absorbed a 100,000-year-old soul ring let Oscar successfully promoted the title Doro and Oscar as a food department at the age of 40. He was promoted to the title Do Luo, so he received the appreciation of the god of food pass to the position of god to Oscar in the end, Xiao Wu also successfully absorbed two. 100,000 years of soul ring, after the Tang San Cheng god Little Dance's Haizian reward is also distributed at the same time Xiao Wu got three gods to give the soul ring all soul ring periods have also increased by 2000 and the soul level level increases level 10 since Xiao Wu already has seven soul rings so at this time she can only use two gods to give the soul ring the last last god gave the soul ring Xiao Wu gave it to Tang San's disciples auspicious the Azura domain very calmly soaked in the clear sky hammer and with its appearance the new tenth spirit ring appeared around Tang San. Red, 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 red. The first eight spirit rings were exactly the same as Tang San's blue silver emperor spirit rings. They just weren't wrapped up in golden blue light. As if the sea god's divine power had infused with the clear sky hammer. But the 50,000 year cultivation increase from completing the sea god inheritance equally affected the clear sky hammer. Just this bit was enough to make Tang San happy. What astonished Tang San even further was that, along with the first eight spirit rings, the ninth spirit ring equally emerged, a deep golden spirit ring, a spirit ring exactly like his clear sky hammer. Set off by the first eight spirit rings, it dazzled. He quickly understood. His clear sky hammer's ninth spirit ring came from the deep sea demon whale king. That formidable overlord of the sea was a million year level spirit beast to begin with, only one step short of becoming a god. And after completing the inheritance of the sea god's divinity, the 50,000-year cultivation bonus undoubtedly provided it enormous benefits, making this million-year spirit ring finally take that final step into the god level. Golden blue light turned into a quietly flickering stream, and the next moment Tang San had already appeared outside the sea god temple. Turning his head and looking up, deeply taking in that magnificent giant palace, Tang San showed an even stronger smile. Floating up with a blur, he had easily passed through the barrier that once blocked him, and entered that quiet ocean. Back in the water, it felt completely different. Tang San felt like the sea water was his body, and even without any divine power. Thinking so, Tang San took a step forward, holding the sea god trident, he finally left this buffer between the worlds of gods and mortals, a god descending. His vision opening up, when Tang San stepped out of the gate, the patterns all over the sea god palace turned golden blue, as if excitedly greeting the king's return. The light on the seven platforms instantly shrank back, revealing Tang San's six comrades. Six people, twelve eyes, simultaneously focused on Tang San. Their gazes held envy, happiness, gratitude, and also a little bit of jealousy. But even more was excitement for Tang San successfully inheriting. The Shrek Seven Devils finally produced a divinity, the first divinity. But whether Dai Mubai, Oscar or Ma Hongjun, they all firmly resolved that Tang San might be the first, but he definitely wouldn't be the last of the Shrek Seven Devils to become god. The day would come when they too would step into that realm. Besides Xiao Wu who had three golden god bestowed spirit rings floating in front of her, the rest of the Shrek Six Devils each had one. But they didn't reach out to grab them. Compared to god bestowed spirit rings, Tang San's safe return was even more important. Tang San didn't speak up, raising his head to look up at the ceiling of the sea god palace, slowly raising the sea god trident. On this sea god island, in the sea god palace atop the sea god mountain, he would declare to all creatures of the sea that the sea god who watched over them, had returned. The seven sacred sea god pillar protector Dolor were already on their knees, bowing respectfully in Tang San's direction. The sadness in their eyes was already gone, replaced purely by crazy excitement. 
The instant that golden blue pillar shot towards the sky, Tang San's divine sense had reached deep into their minds and what the sea god told him about Bo Saish's final destination was grounded deep in the minds of these seven guardian Dolor, making their last grudges disappear without a trace. The people on Sea God Island were now gathering in open spaces, bowing towards the Sea God Mountain, their eyes sparkling with excited tears. Over so many years, through so many generations, they had been waiting for this moment, waiting for the return of the Lord Sea God, that was their faith. Outside Sea God Island, the Devil Spirit Great White Shark Clan all appeared on the surface of the ocean. The Devil Spirit Great White Shark King Xiao by even more gazed towards the Sea God Mountain, gazing at the golden blue pillar of light shooting towards the sky there, with large teardrops rolling down. Ji Xiong and Purple Pearl stood alongside, watching the giant pillar of light in the direction of Sea God Island, too excited to speak. They didn't know what was going on, but Ji Xiong faintly sensed his teacher's presence from the golden blue light. On the shore, Qian Rinshua unfolded her six wings, the sword of angels appearing in her grasp. Looking at the golden blue color of the sky, she gave a heavy sigh, speaking to herself, finally succeeded. Tang San, you really didn't disappoint me, see God, see God, I'm waiting here for you. The sun and the god of angels. This was her challenge, the challenge to the new sea god Tang San. Spirit Empire, Spirit City. In a pitch black room, in front of a completely dark purple figure was a giant dark purple gate of light. She already had one foot inside that gate, but at this moment, the gate of light trembled violently, a faint blue light flashing past. This is, the dark purple figure dulled for a moment, another one, there's actually another one. Fine, fine. Wait for me, I will definitely return. While speaking, she resolutely stepped forward. That dark purple gate seemed to swallow all light. The next moment, the figure and the light both disappeared completely inside the dark room filled with sinister aura. Little San, congratulations. Dai Mubai looked at Tang San, his expression somewhat frustrated. Not so long ago, he'd still been the strongest big brother of the Shrek Seven Devils, but now the difference between him and Tang San might be insurmountable. Looking at Tang San adorned in sea god raiment, he even felt a bit distant. After all, in terms of strength, they were already in different worlds. What are you looking at me like that for? Don't recognize me. Tang San smiled a heartfelt smile. His voice was the same as before, without any difference, and the tone was equally familiar with his friends. As he spoke, Tang San's golden blue light suddenly dwindled, all the armor and even the sea god eight wings melting into him. All that remained was a golden blue robe, and even the sea god trident turned into a ray of light that disappeared into the sea god brand on his forehead. A moment ago, he was still the sea god with world-shaking power, but the next, Tang San's completely restrained presence felt no different from an ordinary spirit master. He seemed human. Of course, his hair was a bit longer than before. Ma Hongjun exhaled, great, third brother is still third brother. I thought after third brother became a god. Actually, you are the main force against Spirit Hall, not me. Tang San smiling grabbed Xiao Wu's hand. It was damp and ice cold, and Tang San glanced a bit guiltily at her. He knew the cold sweat on Xiao Wu's hand was because she had worried about him. We're the main force. Little San, aren't you mistaken? Oscar stared. Tang San said, of course it's you. Don't tell me it'd be me. True, I've already become the sea god. But Spirit Hall also has the god of angels Qian Renshua. Xiao Wu, you absorb the spirit rings too. Tang San caressed Xiao Wu's black hair, smiling. Xiao Wu suddenly shook her head, looking at their comrades already absorbing spirit rings, and spoke softly, I know what you're going to do. Gee, didn't you promise me that no matter when, you would never leave my side. There's no hurry to absorb spirit rings, I want to go with you. Tang San laughed in spite of himself, why? You're still worried about me. Xiao Wu said, it's not worry, I'm just, just afraid of being inferior, Xiao Wu of course knew what Tang San was going to do. Having inherited the sea god's divinity, the first thing Tang San had to do was answer Qian Renshua's challenge, meeting god level as god level. Silly girl, what are you thinking? In my heart, nobody could compare to you. You are my most important treasure. Don't tell me you still don't understand. Qian Renshua is indeed strong, but I love the person, not the strength. 
In my life there can only be one person I love, and that person is named Xiao Wu. Fine, since you insist, I'll bring you. Xiao Wu nodded happily, holding tightly to Tang San's waist, sticking her face to his chest. Led by Sea Dragon Dolor, the seven bowed simultaneously, we greet the Lord Sea God. Tang San waved a hand, and a stream of pure energy pulled the seven title Dolor back up. His movements were very gentle, but the energy he released was still something title Dolor level powers couldn't compete with. You seven seniors need not be too polite, even having inherited the Sea God's divinity, I'm still the Tang San from before. You can call me by name when there are no outsiders. I am also saddened by Senior Bo Saish's death. But she had a good ending. Sea Dragon Dolor looked distracted a moment, glancing at Tang San's comrades. After absorbing the spirit rings they got this time, Tang San's friends would clearly all become Title Dolor, no weaker than these seven sacred pillar guardian Dolor. They also had such a close relationship with Tang San. Sea Dragon Dolor didn't understand why Tang San would let him take up the role as high priest. Lord Sea God, your comrades have also received the Sea God's power. The high priest originally let them assist in completing your inheritance in order to let them assist your rule over the ocean in the future. It's more suitable for one of them to be the high priest. Even though Sea Dragon Dolor was tempted, he still said what he thought. Tang San smiled. Senior Sea Dragon, you don't need to decline. They are all my brothers and sisters, the Guardian Dolor all looked at each other. After Tang San inherited the Sea God, they had never thought that not only would their authority not weaken, but on the contrary strengthen a step. This was their home, and after serving as Guardian Dolor for so many years, which of them would like to give up the power? The seven didn't hesitate. Under Tang San's crystal clear gaze, they knelt simultaneously, speaking respectfully, we accept the Lord Sea God's decree. Tang San smiled slightly, accepting their bow. His status was different now, and he had to accept this ceremony, it was necessary. Once the seven title Dolor bowed, Tang San took his leave and brought Xiao Wu to soar into the sky. The sea god eight wings appeared on his back, quietly spreading out, and with a soft wave, everything around them became vague. Tang San's current flight speed was incredible, but in his arms Xiao Wu didn't feel even a breeze. GE, Sea Dragon Dolor and the others seem very grateful. Xiao Wu smiled. Tang San had at last completed the inheritance, which was also the most dangerous trial. Her excitement was now gradually spilling out. At Tang San's mention of marriage, Xiao Wu couldn't keep from blushing, quietly leaning against Tang San's chest, GE, this time, this time I really feel like I've almost become your wife. Tang San said, even if Qian Renshua isn't a contemptible person, we still have to be on guard. With the protection of my sea god source power, you and me have become one. As long as I don't die, there is no energy that can break the sea god's light and hurt you. Xiao Wu glared unhappily at him, don't talk about dying. You're a god now, you're immortal. Tang San laughed out loud, right, right, I'm a god now, I'm immortal. Xiao Wu, don't worry. I will definitely win. Qian Renshua floated quietly in midair. Her angelic raiment had already turned deep golden, the power of the pure true sunfire. She had already seen the golden blue shooting star in the distance. A long howl issued from Qian Renshua's mouth. The true sunfire she absorbed into her surroundings, and already permeated the angelic raiment exploded, the sacred angel sword pointing at Tang San, her divine sense instantly erupting. Violent waves instantly rose all over the surface of the sea. Even kissing Xiao Wu, Tang San sensed the enormous threat from Qian Renshua. With a cold snort, he waves his right hand and Xiao Wu was drawn into his wishful hundred treasures purse. This was the safest option, with the dual protection of the wishful hundred treasures purse, and his sea god power, Qian Renshua, couldn't harm Xiao Wu no matter how strong she was. Brushing his right hand over his forehead, the sea god trident appeared in his palm out of nowhere. Strong golden blue light exploded, the sea god's divine sense rolling out like a raging wave, stiffly forcing Qian Renshua's divine sense out of the range of the ocean. As sea god, he was the protector of the ocean, and Tang San wouldn't let Qian Renshua's divine sense harm the creatures within. Qian Renshua's gaze hardened, retreating quickly as she floated in the air. Instead of competing with Tang San in divine sense, she stayed clear of the enemy to target his weakness. She shot back more than 10 kilometers, like a bolt of lightning. 
Qian Rinxue was a lot older than Tang San, but in battle experience, she discovered that she had far less. That Tang San could win from a position of weakness was admittedly inextricably linked to his twin spirits and personal strength, but how he combined his wisdom with all manner of advantages let him produce fighting power far surpassing his strength. That's why Qian Renshua was already doing all she could to establish a battle in the sky where she held the advantage before the battle had even begun, and not above the ocean where the sea god successor Tang San had the advantage. Seeing Qian Renshua quickly withdraw, Tang San revealed a faint smile. It seemed she really had learned it something. Not chasing Qian Renshua, Tang San held the golden blue sea god trident horizontally next to him, attentively watching the opponent ten kilometers away with a faint smile. I've kept you waiting. Tang San, congratulations on becoming sea god. Qian Rinshua looked at Tang San holding the sea god trident, dressed in a golden blue robe. She discovered that her pulse actually accelerated a few beats. There was a somewhat hallowed air added to Tang San's originally graceful temperament, as well as a mystery even she couldn't see through. Mystery was one of a man's strongest charms. Don't mention it. I think I have the strength to fight you head on now. Thank you for starting off leniently in the past. I think I already understand the reason. If I win today, I will equally spare your life and give you a second chance. And a favor, you understand. Qian Rinshua was shocked, she couldn't keep her god's heart from swaying, her mind instantly recalling the delicate scene from her god of angels' inheritance. Tang San sighed. He didn't explain, that was already superfluous. Only force could prove everything. Crystalline blue light emanated from the blue sea god brand on his forehead, the sea god eight wings on his back unfolding. Next, dazzling golden blue light instantly spread out, quickly fitting to Tang San's body. With a powerful sonorous crack, pieces of dazzling golden blue armor equipped, the stunning might of the sea god Raymond appearing before Qian Renshua. The size of the wings wasn't much different from her angelic wings, but there were two more, actually eight in total. Since when did the sea god possess wings? What made Qian Renshua's pupils contract even more were the ten spirit rings slowly rising around Tang San. Nine red and one blue, ten dazzling spirit rings were revealed in front of her. All at least one hundred thousand years cultivation or more. Qian Renshua felt herself start to breathe faster. She understood that Tang San's previous confidence really wasn't arrogance. After he inherited the sea god's divinity, he really did possess outstanding power. After the initial shock, Qian Renshua quickly made herself calm, slowly raising the sacred angelic sword in her hand at Tang San. Scorching hot true sunfire exploded from her body, pure gold and golden blue formed a bright contrast in the sky. Their divine senses clashed against each other, one the sea god backed by the ocean, one the god of angels bathed in sunlight, Qian Renshua attacked first. The true sunfire she had been storing up was already too enormous. If it didn't erupt, even she couldn't bear it. The sacred angelic sword pointing at Tang San suddenly rose, and in that instant, surging pure golden flame leapt up with a rumble, an enormous pure golden shadow appearing above Qin Renshua, pointing straight at the sky with her sacred angelic sword as the core. The purest water element instantly transformed into a crystalline, blue bolt of unspooling silk, spiraling up, drawn into the air by the sea god trident. Qin Renshua of course wouldn't wait for Tang San to finish, charging up. That hundred-meter-long true sunfire blade cut down, with cold bolts of black lightning flickering in the air. A faint cold smile appeared at the corners of Qian Renshua's mouth. She had already absorbed a large quantity of true sunfire, while waiting for Tang San's arrival, waiting for him to come close. The sea god trident slashed a vast arc in the air, that newly forged sea god's heart radiating light, instantly sucking in all the water element that still hadn't been ruined by the sacred sun sword. Qian Renshua's divine sense instantly exploded, trying to cut open unfixed storm's rings of light. But Tang San was already prepared, and his divine sense equally exploded. With a soft flap of the sea god eight wings on his back, a wave-shaped golden blue light shot towards the sky, forcibly severing Qian Renshua's divine sense connection to the sacred sun sword. Along with the unfixed storm, it also forcibly dissolved the sacred sun sword itself. This video will end here. Thank you for watching.